In this video, we are going to see insertion sort. First, we will discuss how this insertion sort works and then we will see how to apply this technique with the help of an example array. And then finally, we will write some code for this insertion sort. Now, let us take this array. Here, we are having six elements. So, n is six and the array name is a. So, this is our example array. Now, how this insertion sort works? See, in this technique, the array is divided into two parts. One is sorted array and the another one is unsorted array. And then, we will trace this unsorted array from its starting point, that is from left to right. And then, we will take the elements one by one from this unsorted array and place it in the sorted array. See, it's not like that. You can take any value from this unsorted array and place it anywhere in this sorted array. For each elements of this unsorted array, you have to find out the correct place in this sorted array. And then only you have to insert that element here. Fine. Now, let's go back to our example array. Here, what is our first step? First, we have to divide this array into sorted and unsorted array. See, by default, this first element, that is AF0, is considered as sorted array. And from the second element, everything will be considered as unsorted array. From index 1 to 5, which is less than n. So, we need one loop for this unsorted array. Now, why we are considering this first element as a sorted array? See, if you are having only one element, then that element is always sorted right so this a of 0 is always considered as sorted array now this is our unsorted array and we are going to trace this array from here only so take the elements one by one from this unsorted array and find out the correct position for that element in this sorted array and then only you have to insert that element in that position now this is our sorted part and this is our unsorted part so you have to scan this array from here only. Now let's take this 4 and place it in a temp variable. And this index 1 will become an empty space. Now the second step is you have to compare this 4 with the, all the elements of sorted array. So 4 is compared with 5. Here 5 is greater than 4. So this is case 1. In this case you have to move this 5 to this empty space now this space becomes empty and then is there any other element left in this sorted array no so this is the correct place for this 4 you have to insert it here now this is our sorted part and this is our unsorted part now again you have to start scanning from here only so take this 10 and place it in a temp variable now you have to compare this 10 with all the elements of sorted array. So your comparison will start from right to left, not from left to right. So this sorted array will be scanned from right to left and this unsorted array will be scanned from left to right. So 10 is compared with 5, 5 is less than 10. So this is case 2. In this case, this is the correct place for this 10. You have to insert it here. Now this is our sorted part and this is our unsorted part. Now again we have to take this one and place it in a temp variable and this is an empty space. And then this one is compared with 10. Here 10 is greater than 1. This is case 1. So you have to move this 10 to this empty space and now this is an empty space again 1 is compared with 5 here 5 is greater than 1 so you have to move this 5 to this empty space now this is our empty space again you have to compare this 1 with 4 here 4 is greater than 1 again you have to move this 4 to here so this is our empty space now 
is there any other element left in this sorted array no so this is our correct position for this one so insert it here now again take the 6 and place it in a temp variable and the space will become empty and then 6 is compared with 10 here 10 is greater than 6 so we have to move this 10 to here now this is our empty space and then 6 is compared with 5 here 5 is less than 6 this is case 2 in this case this is the correct position for this 6 and you have to insert it here now this is our sorted part and this is our unsorted part now again you have to take this 2 and place it in a temp variable so this space will become empty so 2 is compared with 10 here 10 is greater than 2 so you have to move this 10 to here and this space will become empty again 2 is compared with 6 6 is greater than 2 so you have to move this 6 to here and this is an empty space again 2 is compared with 5 here 5 is greater than 2 so you have to move this 5 to here and this is our empty space now again 2 is compared with 4 here 4 is greater than 2 so you have to move this 4 to here and this is our empty space again you have to compare this 2 with 1 here 1 is less than 2 so this is the correct position for this temp value so insert it here and finally the given array is sorted completely now let's see how to write a program for insertion sort see here we need two loops one is for unsorted array and the another one is for sorted array here we are taking the elements one by one from this unsorted array and comparing it with the elements of sorted array and it will start from 1 to 5 which is less than n see here n is 6 so less than n so for int i equal to 1 and i is less than n and i plus plus and then we are taking the element from the unsorted array and place it in a temp variable so temp equal to a of i after that we are comparing this temp value with the elements of sorted array and we are scanning that sorted array from right to left not from left to right so the second loop will start from here only which is i minus 1 see when i is 1 j is 0 which is i minus 1 when i is 3 j is 2 which is i minus 1 so let's take one more variable let's say int j which is i minus 1 if there is any element in this sorted array is greater than this temp value then we have to move that element to this empty space so j should be greater than or equal to 0 and a of j is greater than temp so a of j plus 1 equal to a of j here a of j plus 1 is an empty space and a of j is the element which is greater than this temp value after that you have to move to the next element in the sorted array now when this condition is failed then it means you found a correct position and you have to place the temp value in that position so a of j plus 1 equal to temp so here we are copying the temp value into this position and that's it if you have any doubt please comment it below and i will see you in the next video until take care and bye bye